matchup into this pick against uh, Photon did not go well. Of course, it was the Olaf that time around. Fnatic debating if this is what they want to lock in. You know, when we look at the strength of Fnatic, it really just mantra cues all the time. And then the top side as well, you got a ton of push. So it kind of ends up in this weird position as BDS where maybe you can force the 1v1 here. Good job from damage from Cheo. Gets full combo down. Flash over from Razor. Cheo just fishing for this 1v1. Karma not going to be able to get there in time. Ball breaker back. Jail already flashed away, Razor already flashed away. Death Word whipping oh. that was clean <laughs> as hell from Jail. Humanoid can now maybe Humanoid then turn that into Dragon, but with no switch look, they just have to back away, and it feels like BDS just don't really have their chance to trade a thing. Dominus coming up from Adam, traded for the ulti of Oscar. The extended trade, Shao now covering level six for Shao though. Oscar will be first to come in here. Shao has to back off, knowing that Adam's not going to be able to get over that big wall. Jun here as well, so good heads up play from Jun to reset and immediately walk top lane. Flash in from Adam, he's committed to the play, the Ignite now ticking, he's gonna get one, he's gonna dash out, and he's not gonna live, it's the one for one, but Fnatic already committed so many resources, that's the shockwave mid, flash in, shattering strike, wind becomes lightning one more time, and the mid lane is Sheo, grabs another. Nice roam from Labra up there, to raise top side, I mean, not the end of the world for us, Gurney, let's be real, you got to pick up the majority of the wave, but it ends up being a one for one, but here we go. I think they found a pick on Jun, but who is picking who? Level 6 now coming in for Razork. Stun now coming in. Ulti comes in for BDS, but it's perfectly countered out there. The Jinx Rock goes in as well. Shao now running. Oscar in on the way, but he might be too late because Adam's here as well. They couldn't quite get the play done. Oscar has to be careful about stepping forward. Jun continuing to walk up. LeBrov takes a lot of damage. Adam does not want to overcommit for this fight. He knows that Shao already had to back away. But Fnatic don't get a kill. The slow walk down. Dash over from LeBrov. Just enough to overheat. There can't be another rocket to follow up. Useless and they'll seize 4 0 like Photon was. So Adam again trading. Knowing that his ultimate is up first, but Oscar overheating. Now starting to walk away. Adam knows this one well, but oh, the comet, the little extra damage, he just burns him! Roasted crocodile, baby! I mean, he does. What's he, he's gonna walk in? Gonna outsmite the Vi? Oh, they're gonna pinch him. They're just gonna look for the dive? Che on bot side. Oh, this is tough. Adam can just delete the wave, though. This should be a very hard dive to pull off. Equalizer goes down. Adam immediately gets down to it, but the pushback just barely gets him in. Clean on the Vault Breaker from Razor to ensure the Equalizer damage connects. Nuke now flashing in, though. He wants to get at least one punish back. Razor getting caught out on the edge of the Vault Breaker. That's the punish kill. Humanoid coming in top lane as the Dragon goes down. A messy exchange. But it's Oscar who gets to keep the access into the pit. And it's these choke points that are the problem. You've got so much that works so well in these close quarter fights. So that's why that ball is just sitting in the middle of that choke, daring Fnatic to take a step forward. They might just take that dare. No, it has to be careful. Good bit of chunk damage on. Dragon already going to be gone. Pullback is clean, and instantly the jungler is gone. Fnatic now need to retreat. Noah getting picked up onto the side. Shea now looking to follow up. This is a disaster. Noah and Jun behind enemy lines. Maybe the Jinx can find a reset. Maybe they can bring it back. Noah and Human on the back side, but Shea is not going to let that happen. Down goes Noah. Down goes the 80 carry of Fnatic. Oscar and Humanoid desperately trying to clean up, but it's just a 2v5. Ice, no business being that far forward, and Humanoid happy to punish him for it. Shutdown coming through for BDS, but again, Shao just does not stop! This man playing like an absolute demon on the Zinzao. Humanoid forced to flash out to safety. That's three drakes for BDS. Total control now. Will finally manage to put Shao back at his cage, but... The ...team for the moment, and playing for the team right now is playing for Baron. Yeah, Fnatic. I mean, it feels like powerless to stop the pressure the BDS are putting down. Razorwork, Oscar, hesitating to even walk in. They don't have mid-priority. They see two members now. They don't know that the Baron has been started. You can assume that they've guessed, but they haven't spotted the Crocodile in the bush. Adam waiting beautifully. Instantly onto the back line. Just looking to one-shot Noah. The Karma Shielding isn't going to be enough. Noah now trying to hold on to his life on the chase. Now coming through from Adam. They bought enough space for Noah briefly, but Ice, full HP, ready to keep this fight going. Oscar goes golden, but he's about to get taken down. Beautifully played by BDS. They bait the trap, and Fnatic can't help themselves they can't afford to lose the baron and they walk right in i mean bds just know exactly how they want to try and play it as you say wait for fanatic to come into the middle of them and try to face check labrov try to face check shale with a new go through the top it's just we just saw what happened to baron and beating fanatic feels like one step you know in the right direction the only team to beat g2 in the regular season thus far this year adam isolated a little bit Fnatic starting things off a bit better. That Oriana ball has to be respected. Ball breaker getting charged up. Ice on the backside getting caught out, but there's no immediate ball. They just sidestep Oscar Renan's ultimate. Now it's Razork in the back line all on his lonesome as Noah just starts to free hit Lebron, but Fnatic have gotten the reset they needed. Razork has bought enough time. Ice Bull wants to turn it back. Going over the wall to face down Humanoid. It's the Jinx versus the Zeri. Shao though continuing to step up. The burn. burning, ticking. Malignant's getting the job done. The inner fire. The mantra from Karma finishing it. BDS now on the retreat, knowing they just have to get out to safety. They got the soul. They got what they came for. Yes, Fnatic, you got the fight. Like they did here, it will live till the next wave comes in, and that is your tiny window of opportunity as long as BDS don't misstep, which they may have here. 
Prof taking a bit of poke. Humanoid looking for the lockdown. Noah's ulti. Where is it going to go? Sheo potentially stepping too far forward. Doesn't have the immediate back, but Noah waiting in the darkness. Vault Breaker getting charged. A decent ult to kick things off from Oscar. A bit of a slower fight. Definitely favors Fnatic. The shielding of the Karma. So not about yeah, like Labrov didn't use his ult. Nuke didn't. Sheo didn't. So what are you worried about here is BDS. They just played it super slow and let Fnatic use those resources. Humanoid continuing to walk forward. Lockdown onto him. Stepping up way too far. The good news for Fnatic, they try to contest it, that there is a fourth item for Noah. He has Lord Dominix, but losing the Karma there, terrible. I think Fnatic have to concede this one, but instead they're going to choose to fight. They feel like this is the time where they have to. Noah off to the side, still okay for now. Flashing for Adam, looking to lock up the target. Noah goes to the bush briefly, buys himself a moment, flashes out to safety. It's all eyes on Noah. No one else in this fight matters. The Jinx auto attacks the wave, dies to the shockwave, and that is it. Ice cleaning up will burn, but he has the luxury item of the GA and BDS. Marching down mid, we'll look to end it right here. Jay will bunk down Oscar Riddin. He had a decent start to the game, but unable to try and transfer that across to a victory. Now BDS with the waves, a little bit indecisive as to whether they just want to try and immediately push through, but with Humanoid having his respawn in just a couple of seconds, All right. he can probably just clear out the wave. So instead, they will just turn over towards the Baron. Elder Dragon isn't 20 though. So you kind of need to get this immediately reset and go straight towards that Baron. And now we're kind of on the flip side where when you look at the ultimates that are available for Fnatic, a lot of those are just ticking back up because they're, you know, again, this spectator situation. <laughs> I think you flip it. I was going to, like, if I'm Fnatic, uh, you yeah, flip you here. Have to, you can't get Baron and Dragon no, across. They're not going to let yeah. him in. LeBron's going to do everything he can to keep Razzark out. It's Adam. It's sped up very briefly. They're poking, they're chipping. They know they have to commit. Ball breaker over the wall. Razork now in the area. Wants to walk in, wants to get the smite. All of BDS turn on the jungler. They will not let that come through. Now the follow-up engages there. Noah isolated on the backside. The shot oh wave my God. is too damn clean. Discipline from BDS. They do not overextend. They do not hesitate. They pull the trigger. And it is summary execution for Fnatic in the pit. Humanoid holding on to hope, but it does not matter. He can kill one member. Shea wants to go in and finish the job. Even LeBron will not drop the power of the dragon. More than enough. And BDS take a little bit extra time, but they're going to close this one out in style. We always said it would be a moment when they could fall back to this strong team fight for BDS. Will live on. A fanatic, unfortunately, bearing the scars of that as BDS will look to take down the Nexus turrets. And again, I think we have to call it Shea. So many players have Break. made this win possible, but then kicked off with Shea taking control, shutting Razwork down early. Taking control, make sure the top lane matchup wasn't unplayable. Bringing it back in these team fights, and Fnatic never first on the setup, never first on the play, never first in the fight. Now losing out on this game as Razark desperately tries to buy time, but it's a win for BDS, one step closer to the top of the standings. That's the thing, Fnatic may never be first in the top of the standings. Now as a result, G2 still yet to play. They were sitting pretty at the top with the tiebreaker, or the head-to-head -head over G2, but now, G2 going to be very happy that maybe they can slide themselves up into that first place with a win over the course of this weekend. Would be half something we'll have to check on in our third game. G2 versus SK for now. Vote for your key of the player of the game.